All right, so this is, uh, I, think, uh, I think it was Laurel Brook, I believe. This is a very interesting property. Um, there's the, the neighborhood road there. The houses are pretty kind of spread apart on this road. Up back that way, not too far, is a more regularly spaced kind of neighborhood. Uh, kind of nice looking neighborhood. So back here, it's more open and more private. Um, this house has a big open field next to it. Big open field, hill going up that way, creek running through, and like a pond. The creek looks like it runs to the pond here in the backyard, which is pretty cool. And it's got a little fishing pier dock on it, just like private for this house only, it looks like. Um, this siding here is wood. Uh, these windows all on this side are wood. Um, I can't see too much of the roof, but over here on this side, over the garage, there's some pretty thick moss on it. Definitely an old house. Um, so you can see. Yeah, this house, or this um, this part of the roof's got some moss on it too. So at the very least, it's gonna need new shingles. Um, I don't think I really noticed any leaks inside, and there's no really holes that I can see so far. So it's possible it just needs shingles. I'm not sure. Um, electric meter stuff here looks decent. And this is a huge garage. This is all part of the garage here. It goes way around. Oh, I didn't even see this building back here. Wow. So they got a whole, a whole other garage back here. Which looks like it's in decent shape. The doors don't look beat up. Siding looks good. Windows look like they're metal. A little bit of moss on the roof, but the roof looks nice and flat. More open space over here. This is another door to this garage. Let's see if we can see this part of the roof here. Can't really see much. There's not much pitch in the roof, but definitely there's a bit of moss on it. These are kind of like fiberglass type, kind of thin doors. Here's that pond in the back. Pretty cool. Got a certain depth gutters and downspouts looks like they're pretty much in place um, there's a quite a few doors on this property here old old windows on the back there too there's a couple more doors down to the this would be the basement area And a little bit of a back deck here. Deck looks like it's in good shape. This attaches to the kitchen upstairs. It's got like old wood beams on the floor things here. 1964, that one says. Um, and here's the pond area with a little little dock pier thing. So that's kind of neat. It's like their own little private fishing, swimming hole, whatever. There's a canoe in the ice there. Pretty cool, pretty cool picnic table over there. Tons of space back here. All right, now we'll go inside. A tree. I don't know. Uh, I can't tell if that tree's dead. It's got a bit of limb falling off there. It doesn't really look. It doesn't. Eh, I don't know. Some of them branches might might be a little dangerous there. That tree looks like it's not too uh, not super sturdy. There's another garage door to the garage there. So we come in here, nice and open in the first area, living room, dining room, kitchen is behind this wall. There's a couple bedrooms off to the right here and a bathroom and then entrance to the garage back behind here. And then here's downstairs. So there's wood on the floor. This wood looks like it's kind of decent. It looks like it's got a little wood dowel 
um, things. Kind of, kind of pretty good looking floor. Looks like you could definitely clean that up. Wood beams on the ceilings. Pretty cool looking. Old windows. Fireplace here. Wood stove. Uh, there's baseboard. Baseboard heaters here. Here's the back deck. Looks like it's in decent shape. And then the kitchen here behind this little wall. Cabinets. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they don't look too bad. But they're just kind of, they got a little bit of mildew and stuff on them. But I don't know. You might be able to reuse those if, the, if that style's all right. Oh, these ones are a little bit scratched up on the bottom. But plumbing into the sink there looks all right. And then this is the hallway back out to the living space there. Wood floors all back through here also. Real, real uh, wood. We have one bedroom here on the back corner of the house looking out over the pond. Same old, uh, I think those are actually metal windows, old metal windows. But they're definitely kind of kind of old looking. You can see with the little latch thing on them. Bit of uh, surface mildew in here. The walls look all right besides the the mildew on top of the paint. It doesn't look like it's like gone all the way through. It just looks like it's kind of like surface stuff. Two closets here. Yep. And then here we have bathroom, which was uh, looks like it was set up for uh, old people mobility because it's got no side on it there. And this is all ceramic tile. All the tile looks like it's in good shape. Toilet, sink. Walls look good in here. And here's another, uh, I don't know if you could call this a bedroom. It does not have a closet. There's no door on this side. Oh, actually, this is a sliding door right here. So it's kind of like an office, and it passes through to the huge garage. There's another door to the backyard. So here's the garage here. Huge. If you uh, clear this out, if you wanted to fill it with cars, you could put like one, two up here. And then you could put like three back this way. Three or maybe more if it was cleaned out. I don't know. There's a good amount of junk in here though. Yeah, huge garage. Um, electric boxes here. Uh, I don't see any like large number main switch. I just see like 40, 50, 60. I'm not sure if that's like... Same with this one. This little attached thing's got a 30 and a 60. So, a couple boxes, but they look like they're fairly new, actually. They look like they're in pretty good shape. The wires are all attached. Some of the wires going in are a little bit old, but... Yeah. And that's it for the upstairs. Now we'll go to the downstairs. Plumbing there, going to the bathroom looks alright. I don't think we saw any, uh, yeah, I don't think we saw any leaks anywhere. Paint's peeling, but it's just peeled paint there. Yeah, I don't really see any leaks anywhere. It's just some of the doors were open and stuff, and this place has been sitting for a while, so. Okay, so the downstairs is kind of weird. We come down the stairs, then it looks like this is the only room on this side. Washroom, door to the outside, but then you come back around here, and there's two bedrooms and a bathroom. Wood tiles peeling up, concrete underneath that. Uh, walls, definitely some uh, mold on here. You'd probably have to replace that ceiling drywall. I don't know if this is too heavy or you could clean that up or what. Nothing's really broken up. There's just uh, a lot of surface mold on this stuff. And then there's this room here, same, same deal. Lots of kind of surface mold on there. This side's above, up above the ground there. Good size bedroom. Good size bedroom. Definitely good size ceiling height down here. And then this side is probably completely above the ground there. Bathroom here. Regular shower tub. With ceramic tiles. Tiles look like they're in good shape. Tiles go all the way around the, the bathroom. Old looking sink. Toilet. And 
And then back over to this way, we have another bathroom. Two bathrooms down here. Tub, ceramic around the tub. Ceramic tiles look good all the way around. Old sink, toilet. And then this back room here. So this has got a door here to walk out to the backyard. It's kind of like a big living room type area. Baseboard heating over there on the floor. Peeling paint on the top. Stuff, the drywall looks like it's fine underneath the peeled paint. So all this surface mold, if you just took off this paint, the drywall might be okay underneath. Now here is a little... This looks wet all, all the way through. Like there was probably a leak from the bathroom pipe or something like that. But it doesn't look too bad. It's pretty local to like right here. Not, not that big of an issue looks like. And then back here we have some storage back that way. Storage here. And... Vacuum innovation, I don't know what that is. But then we have the uh, boiler, oil boiler thing. Looking old. And water heater. Water heater actually looks like it's in not too bad shape. I don't see any corrosion on any of the pipes. And there's no like rust at the bottom. Alright, and uh, that's it for the house. Yep. So there's like basically like one bedroom, one bath upstairs, unless you want to call that pass-through room to the garage, another bedroom. So one one upstairs, and then down here we have like two two, two bedroom, two bath, plus this large living room. So as it is right now, three bed, three full bath, plus a bonus room upstairs and this large living room here. That's it.